So we're only a handful of videos away from the end of this series, and we're starting to get in that part of the tech tree where uh, very advanced units start to come. I, I'm still interested to see exactly if anyone's going to get nuked. And we'll have to wait and see exactly who else builds the Manhattan Projects. I have to say I've really enjoyed the comment section uh, for this series. I mean, you guys have just been so entertaining because just kind of the... <laughs> the things that have been going on in this series have been really interesting because you have like uh, two nations that commenters, you guys, uh, you know, viewers and commenters seem to be very passionate about kind of leading the charge for like the entertainment part of the of the campaign. We have England obviously being the most entertaining uh, nation to view and, and kind of as they continue to progress, they, uh, you know, they, they've been the focus for the most part of the series because they have been really entertaining to watch. Uh, and we have some very, obviously, I know that there are a lot of people from uh, the UK that, that view the channel and that watch these series and stuff like that. Uh, and then obviously the USA, I think is, I think in the analytics, uh, ana I'm sorry, the analytics, I don't know why I always say it the wrong way. Um, I think the obviously the number one country that views um, these these videos are from the U.S. and the second is England. So you know, I mean, that's pretty obvious that you're going to have passionate fans uh, rooting for both of those nations. And it's just been interesting because those are the two nations that have really been leading the charge. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's, it's just I love reading the comments before these videos, especially you know, you got an interesting campaign where for some reason the Americans are winning right now. And and I'm not. Uh, it's interesting because I don't know if they technically deserve a win, uh, and and obviously, it seems like England deserves a win. But it's kind of tough right now to give them a win only because I, I don't know. I know a lot of you guys have suggested different sort of voting, um, and I I do like that. Something I think I, I believe that one of them was uh, one of them that I really enjoyed was. One vote, uh, I'm sorry, one point for a puppet, uh, two points for cities that, you know, are annexed and stuff like that, which America has annexed um, most of their cities, almost all of the cities that they've taken over, which is a really, really big deal because usually the AI doesn't do that for some reason. Uh, obviously, they, they settled New York and Boston, um, but for the cities that they took over, Tunga and this Zulu city, uh, it has been annexed, which I don't know. That's just very shocking because usually the AI doesn't do that. Does uh yeah look Hamburg from you know on England on Hamburg Paris Berlin except for Copenhagen Ho Copenhagen has been annexed anyways uh so one one po I'm sorry I'm gonna get into it more uh one point for puppets two points for annexed cities three points for um for capitals I think that would put England in the lead I haven't really technically done the math but I'm sure you guys could do the math uh, but again we'll see I, I want to go to 550 but not not past 550 and I'm only really going to 550 because um it, 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 we we kind of have to. We haven't gotten to that point in the game where uh, technology is is making, you know, we're not at the late, like I said in the intro, in the, in the tech tree. We're not in the late part of the tech tree, and that is a big deal. Um, and I want to see what England's going to do if they really are just going to sit here and not do anything else. I thought they'd go to war with Spain. Uh, Spain is more likely to fall, I think now, ev than ever before to England because they did take over Sigtuna. Uh, again, I do want to express my concern of how I'm going to possibly announce all the winners that picked England um, because we have Russia here, Russia and Rome, um, but they don't border each other, so that's that's uh, that's okay. Uh, there was like out of the thousand comments that that you know, I think I've mentioned this before in the series. There's out of the thousand comments that I got for this series, uh, choosing, predicting a winner, uh, half of them were England. Like seriously, half of them were England. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, that might be one of those scenarios where I cannot. I I, I don't see how I'm gonna do it. Um, I I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. I, that might be one of those times where I just I can't I can't announce the winners. I just give a huge. Pretty much everyone picked right. <laughs> Everyone picked right. And I knew that it was going to be down to... I probably should have mentioned that. Uh, I knew that it was only going to be down to a few possible civs that were really going to win this. Obviously, England was going to be one. I, again, I want to mention my disappointment in the Ottomans. But hey, at least they grabbed Athens. Um, and, and maybe maybe their maybe their placement was a little bit wrong. Uh, a lot of people have suggested... Ooh, look at the Celts going lower and lower here uh, inside of their own personal island. I, obviously, they'll get that city back immediately because of all the, the amount of great war bombers and artillery units that are near the city. But, uh, I'm sorry, great war bombers. Great war infantry, I should say, that are near the city. Obviously, they'll take that back instantly. But, uh, but yeah, no, a lot of people have been suggesting other campaigns like, okay, so this second huge coalition might be forming against Russia, and it's probably because they have no navy. Uh, I want to see Brazil join in, though. Brazil has frigates. I think Brazil could maybe do a lot of damage. Uh, yes, I am considering doing a land, a land campaign. 
a land or a campaign entirely filled with just just land, that would be that would be really entertaining because uh, you have more sieves possibly going for the victory. Uh, that would not be the next. That would be not not that that won't be the next Civ five AI only. I think I mentioned. Well, well, I don't want to say anything. I do want to go to an AI only world, but I've got to make that work somehow with mods, and uh, and that's always a little bit freaky to be using mods. Um, I'm not exactly sure exactly what the. Th I'm sorry, too many exactly. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure the theme of this AI only world. It might be entirely with mods, but with forty three mods going on, ooh, that's we're just asking for trouble. We are just, I'm, I'm just asking for trouble, I guess I should say. Um, because, you know, every single extra mod that gets included into a campaign kind of makes your game a little bit more and more unstable. So it might have to, it'll probably be a mixture between, you know, maybe 22 mods and the rest would be uh, regular sieves. We might do another colonization campaign where uh, everyone starts off in Europe, Africa, Asia, and uh, and then they, they colonize North and South America. We just have to find a way to kind of... Uh, kind of nerf the, the Zulu. The Zulu did really good in that campaign previously, but I know a lot of people want me to revisit the, the World Series, so I certainly will, I think, for the end of the year, but uh, but we'll see. What is Russia going to do now? Uh, now that Russia is starting to have another coalition against them, I guess they didn't learn their lesson of building a navy. Uh, clearly, they did not learn that lesson. Um, Byzantium has denounced Rome, and... Where is, where is, okay. Uh, remember, there is a Celtic coalition going on. We should definitely keep that in mind. There is a Celtic coalition going. And uh, we have a also a small war with Songhai. People are going to war with Askia. Askia has been a pretty powerful foe. Remember, they, 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 they had a huge military at one point. And then they just sent it out in the middle of the ocean. And that was just such a terrible mistake. Such a huge mistake because uh, they really lost so much strength at that point. Whereas the Mayans have been only really gaining strength. Uh, now, as they return back from destroying Poland in Warsaw, uh, they might send over a few troops, maybe attack Janine, maybe the Songhai capital. Um, but but we'll have to wait and see. The Huns now also have a, a big military that they really weren't able to do much with. They tried to attack Poland, and they did a lot of damage. Remember, they did a lot of damage to Poland. It was just the Mayans that came in, sweeped it up, and took all the glory. Um, and that was that was the problem for them. Bombers, bombers. I do need to check if there are more. Is there any? Is there any more bombs? I uh, can't recall off the top of my head exactly who has built the Manhattan Project just yet. I know that there have been a few nations, but not really too many. Uh, a lot of people do have a air force, an air force, which is pretty important. I'm pretty sure Manhattan projects have just started being built, so I seriously doubt that anyone has an atomic bomb just yet. But, uh, as I said earlier in the campaign, atomic bombs are going to be really huge because, because there is that lack of land, because AIs are forced to stay so focused uh, on their island. You know, if you were to get nuked, I mean, you're talking about ma just wiping out massive forces, an absolutely massive amount of forces. Assyria and the Celts have peaced out. A few more research agreements. Have been going on. For example, if, if someone were to nuke Assyria right here on their capital, I mean, uh, even if, even if it's atomic bomb, I understand if it was a nuclear missile, you know, these all the units would be destroyed. Um, but you're talking about very, you know, a lot weaker units. It'd be very easy for someone like the English naval, the, the English navy, just to run up in there and, and destroy like, you know, units that are in half health. And then sometimes the AI has been known to, you know, nuke the same city twice. That will sometimes happen. Arabia is still going after Babylon. Uh, there have been several attempts to take over Babylon by both Persia and Arabia. Uh, the problem is that they have had issues moving back and forth. They've had some pretty big issues moving uh, through the seas. Persia specifically, since Persia's lost so many of their units, uh, they've lost a huge amount. Now, the Dutch aren't at war with Babylon, are they? I can't remember, but here's an artillery unit. We're going to find out right now if he makes a landing inside of the Babylonian... Uh, Capital Islands? No, he didn't. Okay, so he must be just moving through the territory, I'm assuming. Or uh, if he's not, he's going to get... He's probably going to get bombarded right now, and, and he's going to get destroyed. The Celts were after a really fast start, uh, but they just ended up just getting... Just losing. They... they Oh, and people are still declaring war on America. Um, the Celts just ended up losing that steam. They... They, they got a few cities. They never were able to take over the Shoshone, which I don't understand why, because the Shoshone are not that powerful. Ooh. Now, why is this second coalition building? 
that's something that's really, really uncommon. You don't you don't normally see that in a campaign like this, uh, where a consecutive coalition is formed. I know that there's there's been some time that has passed. Okay, so we have Korea versus China. Um, nobody too big declaring war on America. No one nearby, at least. Uh, we have Arabia, Korea, and Arabia. That's not too close either. Let's check on that uh, Chinese Korean War that just popped up. It's very strange that that that, that occurred though. All right, that that might be interesting. Beijing already has a lot of units out. The problem is they're they're going to get bombarded by all the artillery units as they try to approach Seoul here. Seoul, I'm sorry. I believe it's pronounced Seoul. I think because uh, you know these artillery units can obviously attack from three tiles away. Uh, you've got bombardment from the capital city itself. I think the Chinese might lose a lot here, and if the Koreans have a navy, which they don't, yeah, which they don't, then it doesn't it doesn't matter that statement. If they had a navy, they'd probably be able to be they'd probably be really effective keeping the navy out this way, just destroying all these land units, like you know, because it's pretty much going to be water on rock. I don't even know if I should say. I, I know it's like a naval campaign too. That metaphor kind of matches the campaign. But uh, these these units are going to get destroyed really fast. Japan's not at war with Korea. Now at war with Korea, I should say. Um, so you know, Japan might attack from the north. They do have three great war bombers. They do have three great war bombers. We have the Netherlands at war with America, which that's kind of a big deal, especially if they start to send up all these submarines as well as these destroyers from Utrecht. That is kind of a big deal, actually. There's Brazil, Korea, Polynesia, Korea. Polish Polynesia does have a a fleet, and uh, and wait, Brazil not nearby at all. All right, so this is going to be very curious to see how Korea is going to handle this. Being at only, I believe, oh they do. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this city. Okay, so that will be kind of a big deal. Uh, that will be a pretty big deal, but. I th it looks like Korea actually might have success going up um, after Brazil in this region, but more than likely their kind of their homeland, their two kind of home islands that they're going to be attacked from all sides. They've done good. Look, I mean the Chinese have already lost like what three units or something like that. Maybe not three units, but they lost quite a bit. Uh, Japan might be successful because China is going to be sending over all their units, where whereas uh, ooh India U.S. China's going to be sending off all their units. They're probably going to get a lot of that stuff destroyed. Uh, they might be able to capitalize just, just like the way the Mayans were able to capitalize where the Huns did all the damage to Poland and then they rolled up in there and, and had some major success. Uh, is Korea like one of the last turns of process? I believe they are. And I can't recall if Venice is also at war with Korea. I know that there are a few nations that were formerly at war with Korea. We have Persia the and U.S. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, no way. No freaking way. Could we see New York fall to the Netherlands here? Siam. Siam is also somewhat nearby, but they'd have to get open borders through Chinese territory, which is possible. Uh, I don't know exactly how they feel towards each other. They don't have open borders as of now. But, uh, but yeah, wow, this could be a big deal. Wait a second. So the Netherlands are at four cities right now. Picking up New York would bring them to five. Wow. That would bring them to five. Make a proposal. Ugh. Um, and how many of these cities... Again, I'm still not 100% on how am I going to do the voting system, but I do like the voting system that I mentioned uh, earlier on in this video. Kind of the one, two, and three points. It, it seems a little bit more fair. I don't know if it's... I don't think it seems fair just to count cities. I think I finally am... And, and I'm a little bit in uh, agreement with that. All right, Netherlands, you have a really good opportunity here, but you got to bring in reinforcements. You've got a machine gun... You've got, oh, you've got these bombers that are probably helping you out a lot. Yes, those those bombers are the ones that are doing a lot of the uh, the damage. But the issue is now that you've you've ran out of melee units and you're not moving the destroyers near Utrecht. Uh, what's stationed here? Another fighter. See, these are the these are the cities that are most vulnerable. I didn't realize that. Well, I think I did kind of realize that, but uh, I haven't really been considering that. Whenever I see someone declare war against the USA, I think, okay, if it's not England, Morocco, or Portugal, it doesn't really matter. I guess Venice could do some damage too, but they're behind technology, and uh, and the US is pretty high in their technology in turn. Great war bomber. Look at these English submarines trying to heal up here. What's going on in the north? Yeah, so Korea's having slight success. They do have their turtle ships, obviously. But they're going to need to get rid of these Brazilian ships to the south if they ever really wanted to make some major, major progress. Uh, let's check check in on the home islands of Korea. 
So they are being attacked severely by China. Not severely, but they're, they're being attacked by China. Uh, I, I'm still waiting to see exactly what the, J the Japanese are going to do. Uh, and I have not confirmed if Venice is also at war. Okay, so these are machine guns. That's that's a problem. Now, the anti-aircraft, they are melee, but you're still two turns away. And you've got, okay, there you go. You've got New York down to, why did you not embark him? Why did you send him back onto this island? I guess they don't really need to worry about it because they, if they can keep New York down to virtually, wait a second, is China at war? China's at war. Ch China's at war with America. They might be able to take this with the most basic boat. No way. Has China moved yet? I don't think so. China might be able to roll into New York a unit that's an ancient era unit into, like, what, what era are we in now? Like, are we in, like, the modern era? Are they going to do it? Are they going to roll in? Maria, no. So he didn't attack. I don't know why. Maria's built the Manhattan Project. China is at war, though. So this might not end up going, but this might be, the Netherlands might have done most of the work, but they might not be able to kind of, you know, get the credit that maybe they deserve. Uh, again, let's check on Korea. We have multiple Chinese units landing. Now, really, if China takes over cities here, not a big deal. China's still very far behind in the game to really make a, to make a move for the victory. The ship of the line, oh, yep, so they're going to probably take this over next turn. Depending on how many units that is Brazil destroys. Japan is now starting to come in. Again, Japan is a little bit behind. They do have Osaka uh, to the south, but uh, but no real major game, you know, changing units that might exchange hands here. There's a machine gun. Here come the anti-aircraft once again. Now, if the Netherlands were to grab a fifth city, uh, that would I have to say that would be a pretty big deal. Uh, that would be a pretty massive change. We have a, a Venetian merchant. I, I, like I said, I don't think Venice is at war. Wow. Okay, so who's going to take over this Korean capital? We have a battleship, submarine, an anti-aircraft, which can melee attack. Ooh. All right. So uh, it, let's see, did, did Japan take over the city? Did, did Japan take, I'm sorry, did Korea take over the uh, Brazilian city to the north? Let me see. No, they didn't. But they're likely to. So they might lose their capital, but they're getting a city in another location. So they'll still be in the game technically, but you know they won't be doing so well uh, in turn. Well, let's check in on this. Now I don't think one, two, three, four. You can't. I don't believe the Netherlands can hit New York from here. I don't know exactly what wonders they have. I don't think they have the Great Lighthouse, right? I'm not 100%. If they do, does the Great Lighthouse offer faster embarking? I, I I'm not sure. But New York will be taken over by the Netherlands, and they kind of blocked off from anybody else taking it, so they got lucky in that situation. Uh, let's see what the Chinese do. Oh my goodness, look at that. Japan rolled up in there last second, sold away from China. And so Japan is at three cities. Really not big exchanges there, but, you know, it's still something. Still something. Will they be able to take over the northern Brazilian city? Yeah, more than likely they will. Well, if they were able to get another range attack, I would think so, but I it might be a little bit closer than we think. Let's go ahead and see. What's Brazil going to do? They're going to attack the Great War. Bo oh, they won't take it over. There's no way that Ironclad can do that much damage, I don't think. And I do want to see if China has moved on to the final Korean city, at least in this region of the map. All right, Korea, what you going to do, dude? I don't think you're going to take it. You're going to fall back. And, uh, yep, you didn't take it. All right, guys, I'm going to have to stop right there. Elizabeth is plying against Isabella. It's been, a, it's been a long time since she's been plying against her. But Elizabeth just doesn't want to do anything for some reason. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.